Back when I first started using Linux, I heard people discuss XSC on a fairly regular basis. I distinctly remember people saying GNOME, KDE, and XFC. It was considered one of the major desktop environments on Linux. But as the years have gone by, and I think as Wayland has seen more and more adoption, that's kind of faded into the past. Now, technically, you can use, with massive air quotes, XFC under Wayland. You can replace XFWM with an existing Wayland compositor, and it technically works. But you lose out on all of the features that XFWM would give you, and some of the applications don't exactly play nicely on Wayland. Currently, there is no official XFC Wayland support shipping to users. But XFCE isn't just going to fall into the depths of history without trying to revive itself. Recently, XFCE celebrated its 4.18 release. And the reason why this release matters is an entry on the roadmap. So all the way down the bottom here, for over a year now, it has said features that affect the entire XFCE core. Explore Wayland support in applications where it is easily possible. Now, some people ran with this a little bit too hard and thought, oh, in the next release of XFCE, it is going to have Wayland support. That's not exactly what's happening, but you shouldn't be too disappointed because, okay, some work on Wayland support is being done. So this right here is actually a link and takes us over to the Wayland roadmap. This design document is intended for XFC developers to begin brainstorming ideas for future development. This is a work in progress and does not imply any future implementation commitments. But there is a lot in here they are thinking of doing and trying out to see if it's actually going to work. Now, before we get into this roadmap, this is not the start of XFC exploring Wayland. Up until last year, the developer Adlo was working on a separate Wayland compositor, Wayland window manager, whatever you want to call it, called XFWay. This wasn't based on something you'd expect it to be based on. It made them realize that building a completely standalone compositor was not really viable. This was based on the reference implementation of Wayland called Western. It wasn't based on libmudder, it wasn't based on kwin, it wasn't based on WL roots, Western. They initially planned to do everything themselves. XFC, though, is a much smaller project than GNOME or KDE, so doing so isn't really viable. Upon this seemingly obvious realization, they decided use WL Roots over LibMutter. WL Roots being what Sway, River, and things like that are based on, and LibMutter being the base for GNOME. GNOME made this base, and GNOME is only going to add things that make sense for the GNOME environment. They're not trying to create this general base for other desktops. It makes a lot more sense to go with something like WL Roots. And this keeps the possibility to run XF Desktop and XFC4 Panel as separate components. In GNOME, if I recall correctly, the panel is a part of the compositor, not an extra thing you run alongside the compositor. This is one of the big reasons why GNOME just doesn't make sense for many other desktops. Also prevents a dependency on libgnome desktop. If you're installing this, you might as well just be running GNOME instead. And then finally, we already have a work in progress WL Roots port of the panel, XF Desktop, and also, this is a new one, XFWM4. And upon giving up on the old XF Way implementation, a new implementation was started. This one is commonly just called XFWM4 Wayland. It's the Wayland version of XFWM4. There is no specific documentation here about the Wayland side or anything like that, so. You know, the only way to properly understand it is go and read the source code, but progress is slowly being made, getting it to a point where one day it's 
actually going to be usable. Now, a little bit further down, there is a list of things that still need to be worked on. And as we can see, most of it still needs to be worked on. In fact, besides the things that just worked by default, like Thuna and XFC for App Manager, there's only three ports currently in progress and no information on the rest of them, but I would be very surprised if they just worked out of the box. But they could go and use X Wayland for some of these things. The issue is they don't want to depend on X Wayland. And I can understand why that's the case. If you're depending entirely on X Wayland, basically you're just running an Xorg system running it through Wayland instead, which might make sense for better drivers and things like that, but if your main concern is just having a fast and efficient desktop, that's not the way to go about doing it. You want things to be running natively. But as opposed to these core components, when we go down to the applications, it gives us a bit of a better story. Most things here just natively work on Wayland. There are still some issues, things in here where they haven't done the testing yet, and other things where they just don't work, like XFC for screen shooter, which is for taking screenshots, which they know about the desktop portal for taking screenshots, but they haven't actually got it working with the application. However, one benefit they do get being based on WL Roots is they don't necessarily have to go and make their own desktop portal from scratch. They could just go and use the one directly from WL Roots. Now this one doesn't implement every single thing in a portal, so for a full desktop environment like XFCE would be, you would want to go and add additions to that and make your own version of the portal. But if all they care about here is screenshotting, this is going to do the job. The other thing that it won't do out of the box is make the windows that do get opened integrate nicely into the XFC environment. That's why it's probably a better idea to go down that route of making another desktop portal. As for the long-term goals, it is not clear yet which XFC release will target a complete XFC Wayland transition or if such a transition will happen at all. Below is a list of larger tasks which need to be done in some way for such transition to occur. And as we saw, there's not really much going on here. There's two things that are agreed on, and there's two things under discussion. I could probably think of like a hundred different things that need to be decided on before you can properly have a working Wayland desktop. But right now, as I've said, XFC is a fairly small desktop, so there's not a ton of work being done here to make it happen, but work is being done, so maybe one day. Right now, it is still in a fairly early stage, but with this new release, there is a slight nicety about XFWM4 Wayland. The WL Roots version of XFWM4 Wayland now has partial support for the WLR foreign top level protocol. I have now declared feature parity with the Western version. So I've merged the WL Roots branch into the Wayland branch. Unlike another new Wayland desktop on the scene, that being the new Pop OS Cosmic desktop, XFC just does not have the resources that System76 has to put into their desktop. If this happens, it's going to be quite a while away until we start seeing anything, you know, actually daily drivable. You might see something usable sometime soon, but to the point where you'd actually want to be using it. This implementation also may just not be the implementation we go with in the future. It may be scrapped for something else. Maybe they decide, hey, we actually do want to use libmutter. Maybe they decide, oh, smithy might be a good option instead. Let's scrap everything we've got and try that out. It's really unclear what's going to happen here, but I do hope that one day XFC does work on Wayland and it's a good experience when it does happen. If you want to follow the work being done, I would highly recommend going and checking out the Wayland branches for the various tools involved in XFC. This is XFWM4, but a few of the others have branches as well. Also, check back on the roadmap every so often to see what's really going on. 
But for now though, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you care about an XSC Wayland version? Do you run XSC right now? Maybe on something like Zubuntu or maybe you installed it on Arch. I would love to know. And if you like this video, I'm going to go and like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon, subscribe, send me a pay link in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over Tea. I've got a gaming channel called Brody on Games. That's going to be it for me. And I'm out.